Hey, what's going on guys? Back with another reaction. And today we are checking out the new Shine Down song. I know I'm a little bit late on this. I had to take a couple days off, get things sorted, but we're back doing it again. Uh, Saints of Violence and Innuendo. I'm really excited for this. I'm surprised it took them this long to come out with another single because it has been a hot minute since Plant Zero came out. And I absolutely love that song. You know, it took me a while to kind of come around to it and, and, and get on board with it. But man, is that like the guitar line and the hooks is just so so good and i you know i did a cover of that which i'll uh if i remember a link up in the cards so you can go check that out but yeah i'm excited to get into this um you know their their past couple albums you know haven't been i felt like as good as some of like you know the amaryllis or um sound of madness stuff but uh i think this might be a i don't know if you want to call it a return to form i mean they've been great albums it's just i mean it's hard to top those two in my opinion but uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, ring the bell. That way you don't miss any future reactions. And leave a uh, like. That way it helps out the channel. And let's get into it. Saints of Violence and Innuendo. Beefing up a little bit with a drop D, it sounds like. Like the back and forth of this group, it's cool. Ooh. I'm getting like some couple chord vibes from this. Is this a chorus? Interesting choice for a chorus, you know, have the dynamics of that work. That feels good, nice. I like that harmony there. Nice. I really, really like that. That's cool. It was interesting how they did the dynamics between um, 
the chorus and the rest of the song because the the rest of the song kind of had that heavier, a little more driving uh, grittiness is how I describe it to it. Whereas the choruses were very cleaned up, very focused on the melody, and you know most choruses are, but usually when you have a song that's that high of intensity, they they keep it there. So it's an interesting way of doing the dynamics to kind of mix that up and and change it. Uh, really cool bridge as well, the way that they did that, just kind of more. Um, I would say erratic on the vocals, not as structured or, you know, melody focused. And then it, you know, kind of brings it back in to uh, that chorus with the very structured melody, which is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I don't think I like it as much as Planet Zero. However, I think it's a cool track and it still got me very excited for the rest of the tracks on the album. I mean, I think they're, I think they said there's 13 actual tracks on the album and like seven interlude pieces. Um, I might be wrong on that, but I feel like I heard that somewhere, which, you know, that's really cool. I mean, it's still 13 tracks. It feels weird to say this, but by today's standards, like 13 tracks is like a long album. So uh, I'm really excited. And, you know, it, it's cool to see. I, th I believe they said this is another concept record or, you know, at least somewhere in the ballpark of that. It's always cool to see, uh, you know, bands kind of follow a consistent theme throughout a record. You know, Attention, Attention wasn't my favorite record from theirs, but I can very much so appreciate what they were trying to do with it and it still had some killer tracks from it so really excited to see uh what they got coming out let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and i'll catch you on the next one if you enjoyed that make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell uh that way you don't miss any future videos also go follow me over on instagram i'm trying to push that a little more and uh get some more content of me playing and my own little riffs out there and for your viewing pleasure here are two more videos for you to check out